What's up guys, John Hammond here, moving into the Python challenge, and we're looking at level 21. Let's just get right into it. Um, this is the prompt here, we're working inside the zip archive that we just got, uh, finally figured out from level 20, and there's a readme.txt in it, and this package.pack. So the prompt here is, okay, this is really level 21, after you solve it you'll be in level 22. So, for the level, we used to play this game when we were kids, and when I had no idea what to do, I looked backwards. Uh, okay, don't really know what that means, but let's just go ahead and make a directory for ourselves, uh, level 21, and let's actually, yeah, let's go ahead and move the readme.txt in there, and the package in there, just so we have a place to work that is not level 20. So, okay, now we're level 21, and I want to know what this package.pack thing is. Looks like that's actually what we're going to be working with here. So, is Zlib compressed data, okay? Kind of like an archive, compressed data, like a zip file, like a RAR, like a tar file, just compressed data. So, how do we uncompress that? Um, we want to do this in Python, so zlib decompress. Check out the documentation. Okay, it looks like there's just a built-in module for it, I think. That is built-in, right? Import zlib. Yep. Okay, cool. So... We've got a built-in module to work with them. It looks like it has functions to compress, compress object, do a little CRC value, and decompress. Okay, decompress takes a string, so not like a file object or a file handle, but we need to read from that object to begin with. Okay, let's try that. Um, let's just create a new file for ourselves. Let's call this, um, we were in 21 here, call it ape.py, so I have a script, and put our shebang line in as usual. Alright, so we'll import zlib, since that's what we're working with here, and let's go ahead and open up our package.pack object, and call that h, and let's just say, I usually call it c, but I guess data, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, h.read, and then h.close. Okay, whoa, don't want to buy sublime text. Okay, so that should, we can just print out data in this case, and let's get a terminal side by side here. So I can mark the script executable, run it, and we get a bunch of garbage, because this is that zlib data. Let's try and decompress that. Let's do that zlib dot decompress, and the string is just going to be data, since we already read that from our h object, our file handle. Try this guy. I gave an argument and didn't need to. Didn't really matter. So just a bunch of crap still. Let's just call that something so we can run file on it to see what it is. And it's still zlib compressed data. Did it Did it even do anything with it? All right, ls tech l. Package.pack is this much many bytes, this, this, this many bytes, something is this many bytes. Okay, so we got something decompressed. We lost like 80 of it. Um... Well, now let's do that with the something file that we just started to work with. Ape.py, more garbage, redirect that to again. File again, still, let's see, lib compressed data. And, okay, now we're, we're losing bytes every time we move through. So, what is this? Is this, is this like a recursive encoded... Recursive, like, repeatedly compressed and stuff. Okay. Just over and over and over again, we're going to have to decompress this. So, let's start, like, just a while loop. While, true. So we do this over and over and over again. Let's say data is equal to um, zlib.decompress what we're working with. And right now, I guess let's just print it out. I guess, because I don't know what else we're going to really do with it. Oh, nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. And it's hanging. I just hit the space bar because um, I didn't want to enter all these nonsense. So we got an error. Um, as you live, uh, decompress data, error three will decompressing data, incorrect header check. What? Why not? What is Is this not Zlib data anymore? Is that, what, is that good stuff? I'm going to put this in just a try and accept statement. So once it errors out, we can print the data there, uh, and let's break so we don't loop forever because we are inside of a while loop right now. 
run that ape script. That's where it's hanging. So let's let's get rid of something. And again, so now we just clean here, run ape. Oh shit, no. Uh, we run from the original file package dot pack. Good thing I did that. I guess. Now run ape. Nonsense. Let's redirect that to a file. Let's put that in something, I guess. So what is something? Oh, it's bzip2 compressed data. Okay, so we changed from zlib to bzip2. Again, another compression, uh, like, archive system thing. Just compressed data. Let's... Can I do Python bunzip? Or bz unzip? Okay, so there's another module, bz2. Do we have it? Yep, okay. It should be installed by default. I'm pretty sure it's built in. Yep. And... It has a ah, decompress, decompress function. Okay, one shot decompression provided through these functions here. And again, it looks like it just decompresses data. Decompress data in one shot. De okay, that works. We could just use that. Import bz2. We don't need this try and accept anymore. Oh, wait a second. How are we going to know? when to use which, because we're just looping like a crazy, like a steamroller here. We're just going again and again and again. How are we going to know which to use? The Zlip decompression or the BZ2 decompression? Um, we can probably just see what the data is. It's going to be data. It's not going to be like raw text. So we can't, we can't like run strings on something or strings on the original package dot pack and find something that like would help us identify. But we can probably just use like the file signature, like the magic number at the very start here. So I guess Zlib will start with an X. I'm looking at the ASCII on the right side. We can just see the hex here. Um, 78 is a byte or 9C is a byte. We could do that. But if it starts with X, it looks like it's just fine. Control C, break out a hex edit. And what is something? Sorry. So BZ2, the BZIP compression will ha start with like a BZ, capital BZ. So, can we try that? If the data dot starts with an X, then we will use Zlib. If it doesn't, and it starts with like a BZ, that was capital, right? Yeah. It will use the BZ2 decompress data. Cool. And then, in case it's anything else, like not Zlib or BZ2, we can just print out what it is. And hopefully it'll be a flag or something for us, or like a, the password for the next level. Alright, let's get rid of something, and let's see if this will work. It, whoa, nothing. Great. Jeez, this is the nonsense again. That's really long. Is that the whole thing? Oh, shit. We didn't break. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Now, it should be short. Okay, cool, yeah. It's not just a bunch of data consistently, I think. It would eventually stop it if it's going to be a compressed file. So that's it right now. But what is this thing? Let's put this into something again. File something. Whoa. 8086 relocatable Microsoft? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Let's Google that. Oh, good lord. Fortran software. <laughs> Relocatable code predates virtual memory. This can't be right. Relocatable object mode. Check some. Okay. It's not like more compressed data. I don't... This doesn't make any sense. Okay. But everything else, like, looked so promising. Uh, what does the prompt say? We used to play this game when we were kids. Okay, that's got to be, like, a reference to the recursive thing, like a Matryoshka doll or something. And when I had no idea what to do, I looked back... Oh, my gosh! I had no idea what to do. Okay, I don't know what to do with this thing, so maybe 
what is this? Rev. Yeah, okay, you can't rev a binary file. You can't reverse it. But let's hex edit something and get to like the very end. And that's going to take way too long. This file's too big. <laughs> let's go xxd something. Uh, and at the very end, ah, uh, yep. Sure ends with the, uh, Oh, that look like, looks like it ends with a new line here because of the print statement in Python when we redirected it. But it's that same 7, 8, and 9C. It's that same X character that we noted was a Zlib thing. It's just backwards because that's the stupid riddle hint here. When I know what to do, I look backwards. So it is, it is backwards. Let's reverse it. Else, um, let's just... Keep working with that data, because maybe they do this later with the bz2 function. Let's just keep that data. Let's not decompress it, but let's just reverse it. Start to end, reverse, negative 1 as our incrementer. And that way, the next iteration of this while loop, once it runs through again, it'll use that data to either decompress or with zlib or bz2. So hopefully that should work. Um, and then I guess, now we've got enough tests, so if... If it doesn't return, we can just print the data and we'll break. If it's not either reversed zlib or bz2, or regular zlib, whatever. Let's try it now. Eep. Oh, elif. Why is that not working? Oh, elif. Need to give it a condition, right? So if the data ends with an x, we saw that with our xxd. Yeah, there's an x at the very end. So if it ends with x. It's just the same as zlib before, but reversed. So let's just reverse it. Okay. Ape.py. Oh! Hey, what is that? Skull Roya Takul. <laughs> Does this have to be backwards, too? You can rev that. Look at your logs. What does that mean? I don't have any logs. <laughs> I just wrote a Python script. That's all I did. Do you mean like, does it mean like the decompression that I'm doing? Is it? Okay, maybe like it needs to know when I use a zlib. Will that help me figure anything out? Whether or not it was a zlib or bzip2 or a reverse thing. Reverse. Good. And print data, whatever. A lot of stuff. Um, how many times is each of them... That doesn't help me do anything. <laughs> that doesn't spell anything out. Do these, like, occur, like, a special number of times? I mean, there's only three things. There's only three, like, potential things that could be. Bzib2, Zlib, or reversed. Um, let's sort this and then... Okay, pass it to unique text C so we can get a count for whatever... What happens however many times... Reverse happens nine times. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the secret. 300 BZ2. 432 ZLib. But... Oh, not trying to spell anything out. At least... I'm not... Oh! Maybe it's not trying to spell anything out, like, vertically, but it's trying to do, like, horizontally or something. Like, what if it is giving a little message, like, one by one, since there's so many of these, um, so many of either the bzib or the zlib, let's put, like, a minus sign and a plus sign or something, and then this reverse, that only happens so little, it must be, like, a new line character, so we don't need anything, we can just print out to begin with, and then let's use the comma following these print statements so it doesn't print a new line but it'll print a space so that way we'll continue on the same line as if we were to keep moving forward that should work whoa 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 what is that I have no idea oh god that's so hard to see that's still I gotta zoom out sorry oh it's trying to spell something I think that's kind of kind of dark Oh, let's just remove this and just use like uh like a an X or something here. Copper <laughs> Oh that's awesome. Oh that's super cool. Remove the data at the end here and it just prints out copper. 
Okay, dude, dude, oh, dude, copper's probably gotta be it. That's gotta be like the key to the next level. Copper. Yes. Oh, sweet guys. All right, we did it. That's it. That was level twenty-one. Stuck inside a little zip archive that had more nested bzip archives and zlib archives, compressed data, uh, <laughs> and then just doing that in Python, running through that recursive decompression little Matryoshka doll thing. Um, and they threw a curveball with that like reverse syntax. That was messed up. But okay, cool. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed these. Hope you, I hope you're enjoying the uh, Python Challenge series. A lot of people have been asking for these for a long, long time. So I hope they're enjoyable to watch. Hope you learned a thing or two about Python and enjoying kind of this problem-solving riddles and stuff that we're moving through. So, hey, if uh, you liked the video, please do. Like like the video, click the button. Uh, maybe subscribe if you're feeling up for it. And hey, really, if you do want to support me, that's the best way to do it. Send some, send some love my way. But... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying these, and I'll see you in the next video. Level 22, Python Challenge.